we're on the south side of Kamasunui Bay and what I'm standing on here, this white rock, is Torridon sandstone and it really doesn't look like normal Torridon sandstone, it's white, it's quite angular, breaks in an angular way and the reason for that is it's been contact metamorphosed and turned into a quartzite. And so here you can see a very clear basalt dike that's running through the sandstone, this dark region here, and then either side of it there's this speckledy region until you get out here you're back into tired and sandstone and this speckledy region uh, it looks much more like granite okay it's got very light feldspars in it and some fragments of tired and sandstone in it and generally it looks like a light pale matrix and it kind of has a very irregular margin with the sandstone and this is actually partially melted tired and sandstone so the dike was intruded at maybe 1200 degrees C, that's the basalt melting temperature. The melting temperature of continental rocks is typically around about 800 degrees C. So if you get it hot enough intrusions and big enough intrusions, and locally there is enough of it, you will heat up the sandstone enough to make it melt. And so this is actually a granite that was produced by partial melting of the torrid and sandstone. Go to oneminutegeology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days out.